Hi, my name is Jamie and I am doing today's Timely Truths. Sometimes when I'm in my car, I think about how much I had to learn when I first started driving. I think about the mistakes I made, the car accidents I've been in, the speeding tickets that I collected over the years. And one time when I was in my car, I started to compare driving to our relationship with God. When we first open our hearts, and accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior, we make mistakes in early in our walk. But as we read the Bible, our faith grows, our relationship with God deepens, He does something in our lives. The Holy Spirit transforms us, renews our mind, makes us, creates us to be a new being. So we are a new creation when we're in Christ. But despite that, no matter how long we've been walking with him, we are still imperfect. Imperfect. We make our mistakes. We fall short daily. Um, we are not him, so we're not perfect. To me, that's that can be compared to driving. Um, some of us, no matter how long we've been driving, and no matter how long we've known the law, we still speed. We still make mistakes. Some of us get into accidents. Things happen. We don't drive perfectly, but as long as our driving, driver's licenses are in good standing, we still drive. And the key term in this is good standing. As long as our license is, in good, is still in good standing, we drive. Even though we've been in, an, even though we've been in accidents before, even though we still don't exactly follow the law and we speed or we don't fully stop at a stop sign. Whatever it is that we do, we know that we don't, not all of us follow the law to the T when we're driving. And in the same manner, sometimes we stumble in our walk with God. We don't follow him wholeheartedly, completely to the T. But we still have to keep seeking him. We still have to press on so that we can do his will, so that we can follow him. And it's a lot like driving because when we drive, we drive with a purpose and that is to get to a certain destination. We follow God because we love him and we know that we were created for him and for a reason. He has, there's a calling over all of us. There's a reason why God put us here. And we have a certain purpose to fulfill. And we're supposed to seek him, pray, fellowship with each other, fellowship with him, read the Bible, and discover or, or live out that purpose if we already know what that is. And by his grace alone, we will reach our des desired destination. 1 Thessalonians 3, 6 through 8 says, But now Timothy has just returned, bringing us good news about your faith and love. He reports that you always remember our visit with joy and that you want to see us as much as we want to see you. So we have been greatly encouraged, encouraged in the midst of our troubles and suffering, dear brothers and sisters, because you have remained strong in your faith. It gives us new life to know that you are standing firm in the Lord. So those verses are part of Paul's letter that he sent to the Thessalonians when he couldn't visit them himself. So what he did was send Timothy and Timothy came back with a good report. Timothy checked on them for Paul and came back and told him that they were still following God. We carry our driver's licenses in case a cop has to check to see if it's in good standing. And just like the cop checks our driver's license, we have to put ourselves spiritually in check. Are we in good standing? And I'm saying we because I have to put myself in check from time to time. So Paul received the report from, so Paul received the report from Timothy who checked on the church in Thessalonica, in Thessalonica and saw that they were still following God. Their church was still in good standing. And verse 8 said that they were still standing firmly in the Lord. We have to keep ourselves in check to 
to make sure that we're in good standing and that we're firmly standing in the Lord. I want to finish with this encouragement to all of you. Um, although we stumble, sometimes we fall, sometimes we lose our way. Some of us have lost our way for a season. Some of us have lost our way for, um, or slowly losing our path now. Um, some of us might have been away from the church for years. Some of us might be stumbling a little bit and making some mistakes right now. But I just want you to be encouraged. And I know you probably already know this. And so this is just a really good reminder that you can always, always, always go, go back to God. Pray. Lift your eyes up to heaven. Call on him. God is always in good standing. He is always good. Okay? He is always good. He's always in good standing. And unlike a driver's license, God's love for us has no expiration date. His love for us cannot be suspended. And he never has to renew his love for us because it never ends. Have a blessed day.